Prince Charles told Princess Diana I should never have married you, in a particularly heated row that also saw Charles' cousin banished from seeing the Prince and Princess of Wales, according to a royal biographer. Princess Diana and Prince Charles married in their fairy tale royal wedding in 1981, when Lady Diana Spencer had just turned 20, and the Prince of Wales was 32. However, the parents of Prince William and Prince Harry had a famously turbulent marriage that was rocky from the start, and Diana became increasingly unhappy after the births of her children. During one particularly heated screaming match, the Prince of Wales even told his wife I should never have married you, according to a royal biographer. Royal author Penny Junor, in her 2017 biography The Duchess, The Untold Story, recounts how Prince Charles quietly dropped almost all of his friends, because, Diana, didn't like or trust them. This included Prince Charles' cousin Norton Nuchbal, Lord Romsey, and his wife Penelope, which came after the Prince and Princess of Wales had a screaming match sometime after the birth of Prince William in 1982. Ems Junior writes, the Romseys were among the last to go even though the couple had stayed at their holiday home in Eleuthera when Diana was pregnant. When the princess threw an ornament at him in the midst of yet another screaming match, the prince finally lost his cool and said, I should have had listened to Norton. He said I should never have married you. Not surprisingly, Norton and his wife were never allowed in the house again. But none of it made Diana either well or happy, and the prince grew more and more depressed and despondent. Ems Jr. also describes how Diana's unhappiness in the marriage began when she was on honeymoon with the Prince of Wales. She writes, she was raging and getting no meaningful reassurance from Charles. Prince Charles, in response to his new wife's unhappiness, withdrew into his solitary countryside pursuits and left dealing with Diana to others.